House. Question number 11, Dr Deborah Russell. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister of Revenue, what recent announcements has he made about the collection of GST from offshore suppliers? The Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Today, the Honourable Mecca Faitidi and I announced the release of a discussion document that removes a current loophole for offshore suppliers who are not required to collect GST from low-value goods sold to New Zealand consumers. I actually think the issue we are addressing is best summed up in a quote from Greg Harford, Retail New Zealand's general manager, when he said, and I quote, For many years, New Zealand retailers have been disadvantaged by the fact that they have to pay GST on sales in New Zealand while foreign websites in direct competition with Kiwi firms do not. The systematic competitive disadvantage has been caused entirely by government tax policy, and it is fantastic news that the new government is moving to level the playing field. Is this a new tax? Mr Speaker, absolutely not. GST has always applied to imported goods since 1986, but we've never been able to collect it as the cost of collection at the border outweighed the revenue collected. The proposals in the document build on the GST on online services, or the Netflix tax, that National brought in in October 2016, as well as the work of previous ministers. And, Mr Speaker, I do acknowledge uh, the Right Honourable John Key, Bill English, Stephen Joyce, Joyce Judith Collins, Nicky Wagner, Tim McIndoe, in fact, the whole of the last National Cabinet who, passed this in, um, who signed off on this in July 2017. Well done. What do other countries do? Order, order. Member will resume his seat. This, it's just far too broad. It's not just, No, no. Uh, question number 12, Dr. Pamjit Pama. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Research, Science and Innovation.